You're not gonna believe what happened. All right, so this is me in the future or me present day versus the video you're about to watch is me in the past, like a month ago. But I have a really exciting announcement that I wanna share with you guys. So my online store is finally open. Yay! Okay, so this is really exciting for months, years, I've been wanting to do this. So for the first time ever, you can get prints like these and many others on my store now, or you can grab my zines, which are also for sale on my store right now. Um, or if you just want to look at my portfolio or contact me, there's all those things that you can do on my website. So check it out. I'm really excited about it. It's matthewsorgi.com. I also have it linked in the description of this video. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. No, I have a sketchbook tour that's coming next. It's happening right now. All right. Enjoy the video. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. See ya. Thank you for your time. What's up guys? So today is a fun video. Finally, I'm going to be showing you guys the sketchbook, which I've been filling for a while now. It's a moleskin sketchbook. If you've been here for a while, you probably uh, know this, which is the last sketchbook that I filled. Um, I've kept a couple sketchbooks in between these two, but the moleskins are always the ones that I kind of put the most thought into. So today we are going to be going through each and every drawing in this little book. And I'm really excited to show you guys. So yeah, let's just hop right into it. All right, guys. So here is the sketchbook that we are going to be looking through today. I've been working on this for about a year, which is usually the amount of time it takes me to fill a moleskin sketchbook. Let's just start right off. Um, so book three, this is the third moleskin that I have filled. If you'd like to check out the two other videos on my channel where I go through my other ones, uh, those are both up there. These are just all things from my house. So this chair, the shelves and everything. And um, these are just some colors that I really Really like so you'll see these a lot throughout this sketchbook um, this here is a self-portrait but with one of the snapchat filters on it so it's a little distorted I kind of had fun uh, with that yeah just my name I was in a bit of a rut honestly when I started the sketchbook this I did much later but I kind of started this not really knowing what to do and was just kind of messing around a lot so there's a lot of just loose drawings with I don't know no real story behind them this is uh, the title of the creator album a Chipotle chip bag and uh, some random faces that I did on top of a, uh, I rolled some print blocking ink on there. Uh, this is a drawing of when I went surfing and a, uh, another self portrait. I think it was from the same day. Uh, then on this page, there's a plant uh, from my house, some music that I was listening to at the time, um, a drawing of one of my friends, a chopstick wrapper, and just a little sketch of a city scene. Um, it did bleed into the next page and I kind of liked the way it looked, so I didn't really do anything on top. I was just drawing some random faces that didn't turn out so good. And um, I can't remember who this is, but she's on Instagram. And I just liked some of these uh, contours, so I decided to draw her. Um, this page is super random. I believe I was doodling in class one day and was just kind of messing around. So I was using some of the uh, pastel colored pencils. And then this is highlighter with pencil on top. And it's kind of fun to draw faces like that. So I enjoyed doing those. Um, this page, same thing. I have no idea what's going on. This page was actually a lot of fun. I did this with a Tombow uh, marker like a water-based marker. There was like a lot of color and smudges all over the page already and then just kind of added to it. Yeah, I have no idea what any of this means, but <laughs> it was fun to make. There's some eggs in there, an old man, some eyeballs, some faces. I was kind of just like a brain dump. I was just kind of doodling and just kind of seeing what would happen. Um, this was the same thing. I was using like highlighters and bright yellow markers, like the same ones as some of these. I don't know, it's fun. I like layering like a water-based marker and then doing some pencil on top, that's kind of fun. Um, these I think are marker, highlighter, and like an ink pen. And then this is a whole mix of things. I think I used some charcoal markers, like Prismacolor markers, maybe even paint, I think. I have no idea. This, um, that was just like something I randomly saw, like I was driving home really late from somewhere and I was looking out the window and it was like nighttime, but like there was a city light and it was like kind of yellow and hazy and I don't know, I just had this like vision of this like scene. So I decided to draw that. Uh, this is a sketch of somebody that I did in class and I did it on top of this like uh, envelope. So if you're getting like a check or something, you get this envelope and it has like a, has like a cool pattern inside of it. So I thought that was kind of cool and it kind of almost looks like he's looking out the window. So I had fun with that. This next page is a, a fun idea if you're not really sure what to draw and you've kind of got some free time on your hands. So you can go online to the site called random word generator and I think you can make it so it just gives you nouns um, so it'll give you like whistle or wait skate uh, whatever it is and it's really fun to like make a character based off of the word that they give you so um, I had a lot of fun with these I think I just did watercolor and ink to paint them or I think my favorite I really like the button 
think the button is kind of funny. I like the, the expression and uh, I don't know, the bulb is a classic. I don't know, maybe the whistle too, or the paper. Yeah, I don't know, they're fun. This is just a random sketch, I don't know. That's like, I think I took that in Snapchat a while ago. <laughs> this is just like a road scene that I never really finished. I kind of lost interest in it, which is kind of a shame, but it's all right. This was a draw this in your style challenge that I did for Jack Howell. These are just like my thumbnail sketches or, you know, I had different ideas and then that's the uh, the finished product that I printed out. Uh, next, we have some more drawings from school. So this is from my Spanish class. Sorry, there's a kind of weird glare on it. It's a little hard to see, but uh, that one's from my Spanish class. Um, my dog some random faces and some figures on the side. And these are some more figures. I think all of these photos are from like a snow day and me and my sisters just like were taking random stupid pictures and I was just drawing some of the figures from that because it was kind of fun to draw like the poofy pants and the puffy jackets and stuff. And then like my dogs and stuff. Um, these are some self portraits, whatever. I don't know, there's nothing that crazy about these. I think this is like acrylic and ink, this is color pencil and marker, um, more sketches. I think these are from my head and a wonky Rubik's cube. This photo I do know is from Pinterest, so you guys could find that on there. I'm not sure if I saved it, so. Um, and then these are just some eyeballs that I did. Next page, we've got a uh, like an architectural drawing. I was just kind of feeling like using my um, ink pens, I think, when I did this, so. I use like a high-tech C fine liner, I think, so all the lines are really thin. I just took a lot of time to build them up. Uh, that photo too, I believe, is, um, is from Pinterest. There's some great references on there. I know a lot of people say like you shouldn't take them, but I feel like if it's just in your sketchbook and it's just for you and you want to practice drawing something, it's totally fine. Um, this is a Kermit the Frog drawing. If you know this meme, I don't know. It's just, it makes me laugh. I really like this drawing. It's one of my favorites, honestly, in this book. Um, I just think it's funny. <laughs> um, next, it's just a random sketch. This was like a, a cool photograph and then I just kind of changed the style of it um, and restricted the color palette and had some fun with that. This is a random sketch that I never finished. Um, some more portrait sketches. I think these are probably all referenced from Pinterest. So you, these are probably like really popular pictures. I bet you could find these too. Um, next, this was a still life. So I did this at an art class, focusing mostly on the negative space and just building up um, layers to push some of these white objects forward. So I had fun doing that, especially um, with like the monochrome color palette. Uh, it was fun. This drawing here, you might recognize. Um, this is from my 2D portfolio that I completed for AP Studio Art my junior year. So this is like the rough sketch and then this is the finished version. So I have a couple of um, setups like that where I'll have the, uh, the sketch that I did first um, and then after I brought it into Photoshop, that's the finished result. If you're interested in seeing more of this stuff, you can go on my channel. The video is called uh, I Took AP Studio Art Twice and I talked about all of these pieces and my concentration and everything like that. So if you're taking the class or you're just interested in seeing more of that work, you could check that out. Um, here's another one. So yeah, for that concentration, I did most of these sketches. Oh boy, here it is. Um, so I have, <laughs> when people look through my sketchbook, there's like definitely a range of reactions to this. Some people find it really funny and then other people are kind of like, what the hell is that? Um, <laughs> it's basically just a compilation of a couple of Kermit the Frog memes. I don't, guys, all right. I don't know what it is about Kermit the Frog, but something about the memes just, they really hit home. I don't know. I just, they're really funny. Um, Anyways, moving on, this is another um, concentration sketch and uh, finished product as well. Um, these are just some random faces. I don't think any of these were, actually these two might've been referenced. Um, I think the rest were all from my head though. Uh, this is just like a cloth study. Um, so we kind of laid this out as like a still life almost, except there was nothing on the cloth. I was just kind of practicing capturing the forms in it. Um, so I was using like a yellow, a red, and a purple look kind of, um, make some of those shadows and highlights a little bit more vibrant. This is another um, sketch for my concentration. Drawing from Santo Domingo. I went there this past spring break with um, on a school trip, so that was really cool. Um, and that was uh, one of the streets there, I think more towards the uh, Colonial District. Uh, this too is from Dominican Republic, so I drew one of my friends and then um, she drew me, so that was kind of fun to do as well. 
Uh, next, this is also from the DR, so I didn't do this while I was there, but this was a picture that I took uh, from a bus as we were driving to a uh, plantation, a cocoa plantation, up uh, from Santo Domingo up into more of like a northern area in Santo Domingo. So uh, yeah, when I got home, I finished this painting up and I really like it. It's one of my favorite pages in the book, probably actually is my favorite. I just, I really like the way the colors look and it really brings me back um, to that place. So. Uh, this next piece, just like a random compilation of things. I don't really think there's any sort of story to this. I was just kind of brain dumping again um, onto the page. Uh, this is like a kind of crazy self-portrait. I'm working on finishing this digitally, so it will be colored, but um, I do enjoy starting my digital drawings as graphite sketches and then coloring over them with multiply layers and then building up the values and the color. So uh, yeah, so that's how that sketch is starting out. Um, this is a mini golf card from Ocean City, a drawing of uh, an old photograph of me from Block Island like years and years ago um, with some of like, my favorite colors to draw with. This is a tattoo I'm designing for a couple of my teachers, uh, so I'm still working on that for them um, as we speak actually. Um, this is a little sketch about taking naps because I am a big nap taper, nap taper. I'm a big nap taker. I haven't been as much in New Year because I've got a lot going on, so I've been trying to stay on top of my work a little bit more, so I haven't been napping, but uh, I definitely get into a bad habit with that. This was like at the start of summer when it was finally warm enough to wear flip-flops again, so that was just a little drawing I did of my, uh, my flip-flops. This was a sketch that I never turned into a finished drawing, but I kind of had this like idea of like a perspective of somebody looking up at a house and all of their friends were kind of sitting on the roof and watching the sunset maybe. Uh, I think I'd like to go back and finish that, but I have not yet so far. Uh, this is a drawing that I did at the lake that I go to. It's really close to my house. I think it was sunset when I did this. Obviously you can't tell because it's all red, but yeah, that was fun to do. And then just some figures. I'm um, in the next couple pages for this sketchbook. These are all um, planning for the zine that I finished up. So that again, that's another video on my channel if you want to check that out. I think that's called like, um, this art project took weeks or something stupid like that. I don't know why I called it that, but um, if you want to see that zine, you totally can. Um, so these are just some, some of the process work that I did for that. So a lot of the time I was drawing just kind of randomly on the page and then compiling it into finished pieces digitally. That kind of helped me draw a little bit freely and not be so stiff with my um, lines and then still being able to clean it up in the end. So I used that process um, a lot. That's not part of this series, but these are, so again, finished product and then the process work here. So most of these pieces aren't super detailed or complicated. Most of them are just a figure with some text or like a random scene. So they were really easy to kind of get down pretty quickly. It would just take me like two tries and then I would go in with ink. So yeah, that does take up a good portion of this sketchbook. This is uh, this one's about social media. This one was about uh, my birthday, um, the finished social media one. And then um, this was me working through what I wanted for the cover. So I ended up going with something different in the end. I ended up going with this. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And then some fun little figures. I actually, a lot of the time, like if you look through my notebooks at school, you'll see little guys like this. They're just really fun to draw. I don't know, I really enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, and then, yeah, I kind of ended this sketchbook pretty strong. I spent a little bit more time kind of putting color and effort into all the last pages. So these are some celebrities. You can probably recognize some of them. They're all referenced from Instagrams like Emma Chamberlain and a couple other people, but they're really good references. Like the poses are a little bit more interesting. They're a little bit more relatable, especially now. So I had fun drawing those. Um, and the way I do this is I just do graphite. I use this mechanical pencil, actually, it's right here. And then I just layer on top with um, ink, so I think I was just using a uh, Dr. P.H. Martin's, like uh, I don't remember the name of the ink, but it's just like a, a deep yellow. That's like one of my favorite colors. Um, yeah, this is an acrylic painting. I think the process for this is highlighted on my Instagram, so you can check that out. It's uh, Matthew Sorgi, M-A-T-T-H-W-S-O-R-G-I-E, that's on Instagram. And you can see me kind of, the way I started this painting was just random blotches of color everywhere. I had no idea what I was gonna end up painting. And then I pulled some faces out. Um, I put a house in, maybe like a window pane, some numbers, some figures maybe, I don't know. It's just, it's super, I mean, it's not really abstract so you can kind of tell what's going on, but there are some abstract elements to it. So um, I did have fun painting this. Uh, nothing was referenced. It was kind of all from my head. Um, that's kind of like a freeing way to work. I would definitely recommend trying that out. 
Uh, a lot of you probably recommend this draw, uh, recommend, recognize uh, this drawing. So I did a video of the process on this. I'm literally just plugging all my <laughs> videos right now. Um, but yeah, this whole process is on my YouTube if you would like to see that one as well. So there's, uh, this is a self portrait actually. The story behind it was um, I was in the lake the one, same one I was talking about earlier, and uh, I thought I had something in my eye, so my friend took a picture of me holding my eye open so we could try and see if there's anything inside. And I just, I don't know, I, I kind of liked the picture, so I ended up turning it into this piece. And on the other side, there's a, a figure. So yeah, I had some fun with that. And then this drawing here, I did in colored pencil. Um, this was just a beach scene, so uh, we got there pretty early. So when we first got there, there was only like this one tent with like some beach stuff and like an umbrella. This was our umbrella and then some flags, and I really enjoyed um, playing with the movement of these clouds. Uh, and this is the last page of my sketchbook. So up top, this is just a uh, the name tag from an event that I did uh, a couple of weeks ago. I was just selling some of my art. And then down here, I don't remember what the country was that this picture was taken in, but I just found it really captivating. I love that the way, I love the way that the buildings were kind of layered on top of each other. And in the photo, they were really colorful and there was just a lot going on. Um, I decided to do like a monochrome color palette using uh, my colored inks. So some some of the greenish blues and the yellow. So I had a lot of fun with that process and uh, not taking it too seriously, just kind of doing it for fun. So I hope I use that process again as I uh, fill up my next sketchbook because it really was it was really fun. This I start I had to cover it up <laughs> because it had the name of my high school on it. But this was um, the poster for the art show for the AP art show. Um, we did like Bob Ross and then all of our faces. Are kind of painted into the the scene so we had some fun with that um this is one of the people that i met at um the uh the art event so if you want to check them out alex reeves they're, she's a really cool person so yeah same place where i got my name tag um uh, but yeah that is my whole sketchbook i feel like it went really fast flipping through it um a lot of time obviously did go into this and i am happy with the way that it turned out i hope you guys liked it too i hope it, uh, I don't know, compares to my last sketchbook because I know you guys really like that one. But yeah, that's all I really have for you guys today. I hope that you liked this video. Um, I guess you can let me know in the comments what drawing was your favorite or maybe something that inspired you. I don't know. Just uh, let me know. You can like this video. You can subscribe. I don't really care what you do. Um, but yeah, I had fun filming this. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching.